Professor Sharp must have learned a lot during his time as an Auror. A portrait in our common room wants to talk to you. It's Eldritch Diggory. He used to be the Minister for Magic, I think. Revelio. You wanted to see me, sir? Indeed. Allow me to introduce myself. So few students know who I am these days. Eldritch Diggory former Minister for Magic and founder of the Aura Recruitment Program at your service. I believe you can help solve a decades-old murder, thanks to that book you found, and, in particular, its missing pages. How do you know about the book and the pages? We portraits hear more than you might suspect, and most of us can keep a secret. So, what say you? Surely a Hufflepuff such as yourself would be inclined to help seek long-overdue justice. This could be right up my street. Even we Hufflepuffs enjoy a good mystery. Glad to hear you are up to the challenge. Plus, I believe you'll benefit from this undertaking. My great niece, Helen Thistlewood, can provide you with details. She's retired now, but was a skilled aura in her day. And the unsolved murder of which I speak was her case. I often visit my portrait in her home, in the nearby hamlet of Upper Hogsfield. Shall I tell her to expect you? When were you the Minister for Magic? Over a hundred years ago. 1733 to 1747, to be precise. The stories I could tell you... Oh, didn't have the chance to do all that I could. I was in the midst of reforming Azkaban when my life was cut short by dragon pox. I was sneezing sparks to the bitter end. Can you tell me more about your great niece? Cream of the crop when it comes to auras. A star pupil here, and then an exemplary servant to the Ministry. And her spark hasn't diminished one bit in her retirement. She and I often chat about old cases and our glory days. No offense, but it's nice to get away from the students and converse with someone who's familiar with my legacy. How could a few pages of a book help her solve an old case? A boy disappeared with those pages. But they never found the body. A girl was convicted of his murder, nonetheless. It seems those pages could exonerate her somehow. My great niece can tell you more. I shall go and see her right away. Brilliant. With what I suspect is your knack for hard work and her keen mind, both mysteries may be solved sooner than you think. I shall see you there. Soon, I hope. Revelio. Reading can be as magical as any spell. Why can't students see that? Revelio.
Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Revelio. My house broom will do me fine for a while. Siblings and I have all been sorted into this. Rebellion. Revelio. Oh, it's that 
Jack hadn't cancelled it, we wouldn't be looking for the blasted thing Come in the on. first place. Where are you? Revelius. You're saying it wrong. Ugh, Revelius. <sighs> Much better. Oh, shut up. Wait. Accio. <sighs> He's ruined my entire school year. I hope a puff skin goes up his nose and snatches his brain. It had poisoned the poor beast. What sort of headmaster doesn't allow sports? Deserves to be an Azkaban. That'd suit him. Oh, if Black was an Azkaban, I should pity the Dementors. The man has no soul. Revelio. None of us are intimidated by your rash decisions, especially the one where you ended up with an actual rash. Expelliarmus! Well, you. You're the little sod that so... Oh, no. You will not survive this fight! Revelio. What are you about? 
Curiosity young people tend to nurture never ends well for them, does it? It's a better not Expelliarmus! Be this is almost... Revelio. Should investigate. Lumos. Lumos. Spider. Revelio.
Revelio. I would say that I am is not appropriately named. Levioso! Your little son that saved Treadwell. Lumos. Accio!
Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Expelliarmus! 
Let me also. Expedigo! Expel the armors! We may have an expelliarmus in our middle. You will fall. Akia, expelliarmus. Let me go. I'll steal you, little lethal. Akia, expelliarmus. What have you done? Let me also. The beasts are safe now. Revelio. Let me say. Expelliarmus. Huh? 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 
Is that the best you can do? Akio. Expelliarmus is worse than my father. Levioso. Levioso. Expelliarmus. I'm out. to seem better days. Revelio. This must be the place Minister Diggory mentioned. Helen lives around here somewhere. Shane Bardo.
secret is do the hard work first and let the easy work. Not a day goes by I don't use Before something. Before you like ask, that. I'm all out of the new socks, so if your feet are smelly, you'll have to work it out for yourself. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad rags promise. Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. Bardo Beaumont should have returned by now. Had by dark wizards he was. Excuse me, did you say something about Bardolf Beaumont? I did. I don't think we've met. I'm Dorothy Sprottle. I was just worrying about Claire Beaumont's brother Bardolf. Only he's gone missing. Rumor is he was seen in the forest practicing dark magic. Saw him myself near some ruins with Rookwood's lot I did. I fear he got himself into trouble with the Ashwinders, especially if he made them a promise he couldn't keep. I'd help search for him myself, but no one will risk encountering Ranrock's loyalists. They seem to be everywhere. 
Do you think Bardolf may have simply run off? No. Bardolf's run that shop with Claire his entire life. He'd not give it up for anything. He swore he'd be back in a fortnight. My instincts are that he's been held captive, or worse. Why would Bardolf want to get involved with the Ashwinders? Oh, he had a terrible run-in with Ranrock's loyalists. Changed him. He vowed never to feel powerless again. I think he sought the Ashwinders out to learn their secrets. Victor Rockwood, at least, seemed somehow immune to Ranrock's loyalists. I can certainly look out for him. Any help would be appreciated. You might speak to Claire first. Perhaps she has some insights that I don't. I can tell you that Bardolf was last seen in the forest wearing a particular woolen jumper, one that Claire knitted herself. Claire will be at her shop if you'd like to speak. Revelio. Hogsfield is being terrorised by Ranrock's loyalists. It's not right. I couldn't help but overhear. Did you mention Ranrock's loyalists? I did. Never imagined they'd act this deadly. I'm Claire Beaumont, by the way. Nice to meet you. Ranrock and his followers have set up camp here. No regard for our beloved Hamlet or our livelihoods. Ruthless. My brother Bardolf dared to stand up to them and ended up in St Mungo's. Simply at my wit's end. How did your brother Bardolf end up in St Mungo's? <sighs> Bardolf had spent the entire day hand-picking herbs and roots for us. When a group of Ranrock's lot appeared and demanded the harvest for themselves, Bardolf refused. In their anger, they held him against the rock and robbed him. The moment he left St Mungo's, he vowed revenge. I worry he may be dabbling in magic that he will one day regret. You said Ranrock's loyalists have set up camp here. Where, precisely? To the south, across the river. Last I heard, there were several loyalists in each camp. I won't go near them. Why don't you simply leave the area for now? Upper Hawksfield is my home. Baldolf and I grew up here. No, we are standing firm. Once my brother returns, then we shall decide what to do next. He's gone to seek Victor Rookwood's advice. I didn't approve of that idea. But perhaps in the end, it will help. I'm unfortunately quite familiar with Ranrock's loyalists. Perhaps I can do something. <sighs> Much as I would love to be rid of them, I wouldn't want you to risk injury, or worse. Please be cautious. We should not have to live in fear. This is our home. It seems as though things are getting worse. Best be on my guard. Rebellion! Thank you. 
Revelio. Rebellion. Rebellio. Oh, hard work and good luck go hand in hand. Oh, I don't think anyone at the minute. Revelio. I think I shall need to eat again till next week. One of Ranrock's camps, exactly as Madame Beaumont described. Uh. We said some. <laughs> Rock has fooled you all to your demise. One camp down, one more to go.
Revelio. Up for a bit of dying, are we? I've been at this for hours. Levioso, Akio, come on! Both camps cleared. Madam Beaumont will be glad to hear that. A castle. Revelio. Hello. Do you have anything for sale? That I do. But, uh, what's a student like yourself doing out here? Got yourself lost, did you? Just exploring the countryside a bit. Hi. <laughs> nice to break the routine now and then. Bit of a wanderer myself, in fact. The name's Leopold Babcock, and I am indeed here to sell. <laughs> now. For someone like yourself who is also prone to wander, I cannot understate the importance of keeping some Wiganweld potion on hand. 
I wouldn't dare set foot in a place like the Forbidden Forest without a steady supply. What do you say, my young friend? A measure of safety for the path ahead? Something to consider. Thank you for your help, Mr. Babcock. Aye, let me know if you see something you like. What do you have for sale? See if there's something you need. Thank you for your patronage. I shall hope to do business with you again. That's been a pleasure. Pleased to see Arn has his belongings back. Rebellion. What seems to be the problem? You may well ask. I'm convinced I saw a grim, an omen of death. I'm not safe. But if it can't see me, I'll be all right, won't I? All I need is an invisibility potion. Yes, that's what I need. The Grim, if you saw one, is an omen. Omens don't attack you, so I doubt an invisibility potion will do you much good. I can see you don't believe me. Fine. Then my blood will be on your hands. I would so appreciate a little help. If there's something you need. That's been a pleasure. 